Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I do want to give a quick shout out to Gandalf the Grey for suggesting that I make the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. So let's get started. So if you've seen my other videos, you pretty much know this process. We wrap our plaster cast head form in saran wrap, spray it with water, and then we just start laying down a layer of foam. Now on this mask, you don't have to get too particular because there's, we're going to be adding what they call foam clay. So you can pretty much leave this pretty rough. And as you see, I'm pretty much covering most of the head. So messed it with water and while that's setting up we're going to give it about five minutes I'm going to lay down some other pieces and you can kind of see the shapes that I'm going for we're just going to make some long lines and just lay out a couple of pieces for your ears some cheek pieces but here you can kind of see what I'm talking about and I'll show you what we're going to do with these. So while I've got those setting up, I'm going to start compressing the foam. And again, you don't have to get super picky when you're doing this, because we are going to add the foam clay. So, But you do kind of want to get a really good basic shape. And all I'm doing is just pushing down the raised up areas. And just kind of forming the mouth a little bit. So now these pieces that I've just laid down, you're going to want to press these pretty flat. Because we're actually going to be trimming them out. Now here I'm actually making the ears. Now the creeper has kind of pointed ears, so just make it the best you can. And again, some of those bigger pieces, I'm just really pushing these flat because I want it pretty thin. And here you can see some of the pieces that I'm talking about. Now the strips, you actually want to leave pretty thick. So what I've done here is I've taken the pieces off and I've just put those aside and I'm kind of adding a little bit of foam to the chin area. Now the piece that I'm working on here, we're actually going to add that to the chin. So here you can kind of see what I've done. Just a little bit of foam and then this is going to be the chin piece that we're going to add in a little bit. So this piece, you're going to want it pretty flat. So before it hardens up fully, just press it out as thin as you can. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. So now I'm going to go ahead and make the teeth. And you've seen me do this before. Just use hot glue and just lay out pretty a lot of teardrop shapes and you're going to trim these up. My suggestion is you make extras because some of them may be better than others. So now I'm going to start adding in the pieces that we made earlier. So what I'm doing here is I'm gluing on the ears and then in the long strips that we made earlier, these are going to be his tendrils. So, look at a good reference picture. And just kind of lay it out how you want. Now, I put two kind of toward the top of the head, and then two kind of going up toward his eyes.
And all we're really doing here is we're just building up the mask itself. So you saw me looking at the reference picture. And again, I highly suggest you do that as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm making the pieces for the teeth, basically the gums. And you don't want these too big. You can actually measure your own mouth if you want to. But there's the teeth. Now, if you look at the creeper, he has really jagged teeth. And you can make yours however you want. My reference picture, his teeth actually kind of made a V shape on the top. And I kind of liked how that looked. So that's kind of what I did. Now, I put six teeth on the top, and they were a little bit bigger than the teeth on the bottom. But here you get a little better picture. So there's the two gums and the teeth. So at this point, the mask doesn't look like much. But trust me, it's going to get better. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying out the teeth how I want them. And then I'm just going to glue them to those little thin strips. Basically his gums. Just take your time and be careful. Glue gets hot. And I highly suggest that you put your teeth on before you do anything else at this point. And there's a reason. And be careful when you put your teeth pieces on because you really want it to kind of match up the picture that you're looking at. Now here... I'm going to go ahead, since I got the teeth on, I'm going to build up the chin area a little bit. So you can see how it kind of sticks down a little bit. There's going to be a reason for it. Now these are going to be the flappy pieces on the side of his face. If you look at the creeper, he has these kind of jowls that are just really thin and hang down. And that's kind of really what gives him a unique appearance. So make sure you trim it around your ear because you don't want to cover up your ear. And do your best to try and make both of them match up. So now what I'm going to do is I want to build up his eyebrow area. Because the creeper really has this kind of thick scowling brow. So again, right at this process, all I am doing is just adding foam and building up layers. So here you can kind of see where we're at at this point. And it's actually kind of starting to take on that creeper shape. So I suggest try it on occasionally. Make sure it's still fitting you. So now all I'm doing is just taking some of the hot glue and just kind of touching up some areas and basically just strengthening the pieces that I put on. 
So here's what I was talking about. This is called air dry foam clay. It's pretty cheap. You can get a tub of it on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby for about five to six dollars. This stuff is great. I use it often when I really want to do some smoother textures and especially when I'm filling in gappy areas. So what I do first, if you see here, is I'm making his nose. Now this is where your sculpting ability is going to kind of come into play. And just do the best you can. The good thing about air dry foam clay is you have a lot more time to work with it than you do with like the foam in a can. And maybe down the road I'll actually just do a whole mask using the air dry foam clay. My suggestion when you use this is put some water on your fingers. Now you can use sculpting tools if you want. Me, I just use my fingers. And all I am doing is building up areas. Especially around the eyes, the cheeks. And I actually went and made his upper lip and his lower lip using this material. And again, you have a lot of time to work with this, so you don't have to rush. So here I'm just kind of using my thumbnail, adding in some creases, again, building up the eye areas, and just really trying to smooth everything out as I go. I'm not a big fan of sanding, so I try to get as much done as I can in one shot, but I still have to sand. So here I'm building up his lips. And really what I'm trying to do here is just add as much detail as I can. And again, use water on your hands. It's it actually makes the foam clay a little easier to work with. Now the tendrils that run on the top of his head and the side of his face, I actually made the little claw pieces at the end. I just went ahead and made those out of the foam clay. It's really easy. And you can make any shape you want. You can actually get really detailed on a lot of the shapes that you make. So here I added uh, some of the spikes or the claws toward his chin. And what I'm doing here is the tendrils that run alongside and on top of his head. I just used a little bit of that foam clay to just kind of fill in the gaps. It'll just really make your mask stand out and look really good later on. So here I'm just kind of adding some of the creases in his skin.
And when you guys make your mask, uh, my suggestion, uh, again, take your time and just kind of play with this foam clay. You'll really find that it is really easy to work with. And just build it up to where you're happy with it. This whole process probably took me, I don't know, maybe an hour. But here, it really is starting to come to shape. And you can see, I tried it on. Love it. So again, you're going to want this to set for 24 hours. Now, I sanded it a little bit, but I didn't have to do too much. And I put on two light coats of Plasti Dip. And here you can kind of see how it came out. This is really, for me, looking really good. So now we're going to go into the detail painting. Now the good thing about the Creeper is he is, his skin is pretty dark. So the black Plasti Dip will actually help bring out a lot of the details. And basically, I started with the teeth. Now, when you do your teeth, don't go pure white. That should go without saying. Start by doing some washes of kind of like some brown mixed with yellow. And then just build it up. Now, I use a lot of water on my acrylic paint when I paint these masks. I like to use washes. Basically, I like to use a really thin coat and just build it up slowly. For me, this is, I've said it more times than I can count, doing the detail painting is the funnest part of these projects. And honestly, on this one, the detail painting, it probably took me less than an hour. And only take it to where you're happy with it, because it's really easy to overdo it. And again, with acrylic paint, if you do mess up, you can always go back and fix it. It's pretty easy. Acrylic paint is cheap. So again, just building up layers in here. I kind of used a damp paper towel, and I even wiped some of the paint off. But really loving how this is looking. And again, I'm just building up layers. Now, around his eyes, I actually used kind of a deep purple mixed with black. And around his gum line, I kind of used that same color scheme. Now, on the outside, mostly his skin, if you will, I kind of used a dark green mixed with black. And again, I used a lot of water and just put on thin coat after thin coat after thin coat. And you don't have to do yours exactly like I do mine. So here, I'm just kind of going back, touching up the teeth a little bit, but yeah. But I'm really liking how this is coming out. And again, paint yours however you want to. But you'll see me try it on here in just a second. So here it is. A creeper. Loved how this came out. The skin texture, the details, the nose, the teeth, the lips. Just really, really thought this came out awesome. 
So, hope you guys try this. It's a lot of fun. And don't think you can't do it, because you can do it. But love the detail on it. I wish I had some wig hair, because I would have put the wig hair on the back of the head, but... And didn't have the hat, but that's something you guys can add later on. But, yeah, here it is. The Creeper. So again, want to give a shout out to Gandalf the Grey, one of my subscribers, for suggesting this. I hope you love it. I loved it. Hope all you guys like it, love it, try it. Thanks for watching.